Behold, he is at the very gates, takes you through another terrifying sign, wars and rumors of war. We have seen that all these signs point to one truth that Jesus Christ, the beloved Son of the Most High God, has come back on this earth in the name Emmanuel. Didn't the disciples ask the Lord 2000 years ago while he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, tell us about the signs of your coming and the end of age? Are these two events, the coming of Jesus Christ and the end of age, one and the same? The Word of God clarifies that these two are distinct events and there are many signs which occur between the coming of the Lord to this earth and the end of age. False Christs, wars, Rumors of wars People will rise against people and nation against nation Famines Earthquakes Apostasy Floods And pestilence These were the signs that Jesus Christ gave his disciples concerning the time between his return to the earth and the end of age. Today, we are going to examine another important sign, the sign of wars and rumors of wars. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is still to come. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. When we go back in history and look at the various wars that have been fought, we find the advancements made by man in science and technology were assimilated to produce weapons that resulted in horrific acts of genocide. Wars have always been the darkest chapters in history. They have impacted millions of lives and livelihoods, displaced millions of families and caused profound suffering on humanity. The First World War resulted in the tragic loss of approximately 20 million lives. And just 20 years later came the Second World War with more advanced weaponry which had a far greater reach that led to over 55 million deaths. These statistics do not reflect the millions who were killed by the famine and diseases that followed. More than 75 years have passed since the Second World War. If another world war takes place, how terrible would be the devastation it might cause given our considerable advancements in science and technology. Today, many more nations around the world have lethal nuclear weapons which are capable of burning the earth many times over. These countries boast of having amassed a nuclear arsenal that far exceeds the firepower that was used to destroy the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. The post-war reality is far grimmer and more miserable than what is shown in the media. It takes around 10 seconds for the fireball from a nuclear explosion to reach its maximum size. But the effects last for decades and span across generations. Nuclear radiation can cause severe side effects for survivors who are known to suffer 
from various cancers and diseases at higher than normal rates. Children are known to suffer from intellectual disabilities and impaired growth with a higher risk of developing cancer in the future. Can you imagine the nature of another world war that leverages artificial intelligence, robotics and neural networks? Even the tanks and artillery used today are far more advanced than what was used back then. Drones and other forms of unmanned aerial surveillance have become the norm today. The devastation that another world war would bring is unimaginable. The weapons of today are capable of generating temperatures so high that they even melt metal. Then, can you imagine what would become of our neighborhoods and homes? Billions of lives would be lost and modern day civilization would be taken back to Stone Age. The anguish and pain from the after effects of modern weaponry are unfathomable. Unlike previous world wars, where those who survived could rebuild their lives and start all over again, the impacts of another world war would cause irreparable damage across multiple generations. The impacts of radiation can cause genetic disorders, increasing the risk of cancer and other unforeseen diseases in future generations. These impacts coupled with families being displaced and separated from their loved ones for long periods of time, children having to grow up without their parents, and the long-term stress and trauma will have a far-reaching impact on those who survived the horrors of the war. Even today, as we speak, the world is plagued by the effects of the ongoing wars. We know about the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the conflict in the Middle East between Israel and Hamas and the impact that it has worldwide. So I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, fire that shall devour its strongholds. The book of the prophet Amos chapter 1 verse 7. However, over the last 25 to 30 years, there have been many wars involving many nations. Though some of these wars may appear to be isolated conflicts, they have great biblical significance for us today. Let us look at some of them. The Gulf War The 1990-91 Gulf War was triggered by Iraq's invasion of Kuwait. It was an armed conflict between Saddam Hussein's forces and the 42-country coalition led by the United States. More than 100,000 were estimated to have lost their lives due to this war. The Algerian Civil War The 1991-2002 Algerian Civil War was fought between the Algerian government and various Islamist rebel groups. Over 200,000 people were killed in this civil war. The Bosnian War The Bosnian War was an international armed conflict that took place in Bosnia and Herzegovina between 1992 and 1995. It was fought between three Bosnian groups. The Bosniaks, Serbs and the Croats and the Yugoslav army. More than 100,000 people died in this conflict. The First and Second Chechen War These wars were a struggle for independence waged by the Chechens against the Russian Federation. The First War was fought between 1994 and 1996 and the Second War lasted 10 years from 1999 to 2009. More than 250,000 fatalities were reported from these wars. The First and Second Congo Wars 
the first war which took place between 1996 and 1997 is also known as Africa's First World War. The Second Congo War that followed lasted till 2008. The death toll crossed a staggering 5.4 million and is considered the most deadly war after World War II. The Iraq War More than 150,000 lives were lost in this war, which began in 2003 and ended in 2011. Moreover, more than 1 million people are still considered missing to this day. The First and Second Libyan War The first civil war began in 2011 to oust Muammar Gaddafi and lasted eight months. The second civil war was fought between different armed groups but mainly the House of Representatives and the Government of National Accord and took place between 2014 and 2020. The death toll from these wars is estimated at 25,000. The Iraq Civil War The war in Iraq was an armed conflict between Iraq and its allies and the Islamic State from 2013 to 2017. More than 200,000 people died in this war. The Syrian Civil War The Syrian Civil War is an ongoing conflict between the Syrian Arab Republic, led by Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and various domestic and foreign forces. This war has already taken the lives of over 600,000 people. The Yemen Civil War This multilateral civil war began in 2014 and is still ongoing. It is fought between two political groups that claim to constitute the official government of Yemen. 350,000 people have lost their lives and the number continues to rise. The effects of war are horrendous and manifold. And we see world organizations like the UN, heads of state and religious leaders always brokering peace for political and economic reasons. However, the Word of God says, when they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and there will be no escape. The first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. We have seen how the conflict between Israel and Palestine broke out suddenly and retaliatory attacks triggered by impulse are pushing the world to the brink of another world war. In the Gospel of Matthew, we read, And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 6 to 7. It's not just wars, but there will also be rumors of wars. So what are these rumors of wars? We've heard of bomb threats, terror threats, terrorist attacks, civil and political unrest, riots, attempts at ethnic cleansing, and cross-border tensions. These are some of the sources of rumors of wars. When all diplomatic efforts fail and nations are put on high alert, and when there is fear and distress among people, and there is speculation of war even before any conflict begins, this is what makes up for rumors of wars. Take for example, the never-ending rumors of war due to the overarching tensions between various countries and China, Russia and North Korea. In today's information age, when news is available at your fingertips, it is the mainstream media that plays a big role in the spread of these rumors of wars, causing anguish and anxiety among people. When anguish comes, they shall seek peace. 
but there shall be none. Disaster comes upon disaster. Rumor follows rumor. They shall keep seeking a vision from the prophet. Instruction shall perish from the priest and counsel from the elders. Ezekiel chapter 7 verses 25 and 26. People seeking further knowledge on these rumors depend greatly on social media and the internet, which compounds their anxiety and distress. However, the word of God cautions us not to be alarmed for the end is still to come. And these are only signs of the second coming. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed, but this must take place. But the end is still to come. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. What is the end that is still to come? It is the end of age when the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved and the elements of the earth will melt with fire. But before the end comes, the Son of God must come to this earth and save His people. And these signs of times are an indication that He is at the very gates. These are crucial times that you and I are living in. Do not delay to turn back to the Lord and do not postpone it from day to day. For suddenly the wrath of the Lord will come upon you and at the time of punishment you will perish. The book of Sirach chapter 5 verse 7 Therefore, on one hand there is salvation and on the other there is eternal condemnation. The choice is yours but the truth remains He is at the very gates. May the Lord God Almighty bless you. Amen.